friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to a flip through. We are in August of 2022. We have done the first half already. So if you uh, haven't seen that and you'd like to, it's down below on my playlist of flip throughs. Most of my months are down there. I think, I think they all should be down there. So feel free to go back and peruse as you would like. All right. If you're new here, welcome. I'm super glad you're here. This is my creative daily journal. Uh, Fobonichi, whatever it is. It's a handmade journal. We, I made it um, on camera with you guys. It's just made out of scrapbook paper with an extended spine and then um, mismatched scrapbooking paper and whatnot on the inside. All right, here we go. We are halfway through. So we ended on the 15th. Today we will start on the 16th. Let me see if I can get you in here a little bit closer. All right, there we go. Okay, so uh, again, let's see the 16th. Okay. And I keep forgetting it. I'm in August and I was like, what is this day? And I was like, no, 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 this was months ago. <laughs> so, cause I'm late on filming this and I'm just so sorry. So, okay. Um, I finished this book and, um, let's see, I watched, oh no, I'm sorry. That is not accurate. I think I just put this in here. This is the title of a book that I had already read. This is the plastic cover off of it. And so I cut it up. I just put long day at work. Okay. Um, I put long, let's see, watched blood red sky. It's a, I said, um, no, I'm going to have nightmares, but I had to watch it. I don't know why I do that. You guys, what day of the week is this a Tuesday? So I must've been down here like at night. Sometimes when I come down, if I'm not getting up early in the be morning, I have a really bad habit of like, if I start something, I want to finish it. Right. And so let me open my water as I'm telling you this story. Um, anyway, I, I don't need to watch this movie. It's horrible. I no. but I can't turn it off. <laughs> anyway, I put long day at work. Oh, two new employees. I was booked solid back to back. I did not go to the gym. I should have gone this morning. I don't like should, but I, I wish I would have gone this morning but I love the afternoon and the evening coach. Plus my body feels warmer too. So that morning class is just a push for me. It is bone cold here. And, um, my body just doesn't move as well at five 30 in the morning. It just doesn't. Um, and I really like the evening coach, but there are just so many excuses that I have. I don't know. Um, working out in the evening is not as predictable for me for sure. So anyway, there's that. Um, I put many distractions and excuses. Um, I had cheese toast for dinner. I put really, am I 12? Like, like that's not a dinner, like, but that's how I eat when I feel like crap and I'm not working out and it's just comfort food at that point. So, um, my husband had a regular day at work and I worked, um, with the boy on getting needed medical records and Rue, oh my gosh. And Rue had her newspaper interview. Oh my gosh. Uh, crazy. Yes. I remember this. Okay. Um, so actually not a lot to, um, journal about this was actually the day, right? So since I kind of just put it here, um, I decided just to decorate this day. And oftentimes I'll write down like a quote from the day or something like that. I mean, I put quotes up, but there's often something that sticks with me in my, in my cross, so to speak about, um, and one of my clients today, we were talking about this quote and it says the ax forgets the tree remembers. And, um, it just, yep, really stuck with me. So I put that in here. I printed out this and then, um, you know, put some decorations on it and whatnot. So if I, if, um, down below in the links, you'll always find the people that I use or um, talk about. And when I made all of this, I explained who was where and who was where, who was who and what was what. So, um, basically my printables are from, uh, Loveland's life and Pam at the, um, paper. No, Pocket Journal Pam, excuse me, Pocket Journal Pam. I am one of their Patreons. And so um, I use a lot of their monthly printouts. This is the middle of the book. I intentionally left this um, blank. I have intentions for this page every month and I have yet to do it. So there you go. <laughs> All right. This is the 17th, uh, Wednesday. I'm sorry if there's a glare. This all has Mod Podge on it. This is Mod Podge on clear sticker paper here. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it just adds some texture and sparkle and you guys, we just, yes to sparkle. Okay. Um, this I Mod Podge, I printed this on, you can see that paper is a little bit, um, different colored. So it, that's why, um, you must learn a new way to think before you can master a new way to be. That's my quote from the day. 
And I put, oh, this morning was so nice. Nice. I've been sleeping in and it feels so good to use the time um, to prep my, my journal and to meditate and to do my morning routine, etc. cetera. Um, I didn't want to go to work. Super long day, seven sessions, but bam, amazing sessions and growth. And I'm honored to be a part of their journey and so pumped to see the growth and how lives are changing. Um, this is from Jenny Mae June. And, um, oh, I had a phone call interview with the paper in Montana. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so this is, um, my husband actually did most of the talking and we were very, I was there on speakerphone with him and I was like, <laughs> like, you, you have to be so careful when you're speaking to someone because they can take any part of what you say and like chop it into bits or whatever. And I was just like, just. So anyway, uh, my daughter had her newspaper article uh, interview here, and then they called us for the interview also to tell her story. Anyway, crazy. Um, I love this. I just, it's just a motivational quote. And um, I put solid journaling today. I switched out journals for daily um, process pages and feeling creative and motivated. Yeah. So my daily process journal is just my daily journaling I do for myself, just completely by myself. And I have not been loving it recently. And I don't know how to explain that. Well, I don't have to, you guys are journalers. <laughs> I wasn't loving going to it for whatever reason. I don't know the why. Um, and so I switched it out. I just grabbed another one and I, well, it wasn't that simple. I had to touch them all and feel them all and all that kind of stuff. And then, um, anyway, so I switched out my process journal today and started again and just, um, was doing some of that. So that was good. Um, Oh my gosh. I had to address, um, the employees at work for not eating other people's food. I put seriously, like, uh, um, could have done faster or stronger, but was sidetracked buddy. I don't even know what I'm writing here. I went to the gym. Oh, I did grace. That's why I'm like, what is happening? Um, I did grace. It's a workout, whatever. Um, I could have gone faster or stronger, but I was sidetracked with buddy because I have to take buddy to the gym with me. My poor guy. Oh, um, so, um, yeah, so I put him off in this little room next to me, but then he, um, whatever, got nervous. He started walking around. He knocked over his water. It was all over the place. And I was like, Oh, in the middle of my workout. So, um, Anyway, it was still a PR for me. It's fine. <laughs> and there's uh, my energy fizz there. All right. The next day is the 18th. Um, this is from Jenny Mae June. Um, this is from Mantra Magazine. Pretty sure I got a giant coffee this morning. Yeah, Thursday. I probably got a giant coffee. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay, this is hilarious. Okay, so this day um, I was feeling kind of... Um, Ugh, whatever. Long day at work. And then both of my kids called and they both need stuff, right? And I just, um, I don't know, like on one end, it feels good to be needed. Yes, it does. And then on two, it's just like, yes, you still need me. So like, it's okay. It's okay to still need your mom or need some support, right? And so, but they were trying their best to adult. They were trying their best to figure it out. And I literally am in between sessions and I'm like texting people and calling the school and doing the whatever. And I just, but I'm trying to let them be adults, you know, both kids called with important business stuff. Um, and I was able to handle it with some phone calls and I'm so glad they still need me. And then this is happy mail today from, um, sweet Deidre. And, um, I think this is from her. Yeah. The, um, oh my gosh, I would not. So this is, this is a great example, which I said at the time, I don't know if I ever would have cut this picture out one, two, I would not have pulled this picture. Like, I don't know where it is because I have too much stuff and I like, I'm not going to dig through whatever. But when I got it in the Happy Mail and I wanted something from the Happy Mail to put on my page, I was like, this is perfect because my little Rue was being a little prickly today, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and it was just so perfect. It was just so perfect. This is me at work, like still like on my phone trying to deal with stuff in the, in between my work and like taking care of it. So Yeah. So that's why I put this. Turns out being an adult is mostly just asking other people how to do stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, Friday. I love you so much. Okay. So um, I did morning mindfulness. Obviously, this is obviously me doodling like 
from some sort of phone call or something I was on. This is often how I do. Um, slow morning coffee and journaling and enjoyed crafting all day. I could have done a bunch of stuff. I literally did nothing but relax. It was wonderful. Um, yeah, so just journaling. Um, I didn't think um, I didn't eat well and I didn't go to the market and I didn't think we had plans and I chose not to go to the gym and now I feel gross. <laughs> my back is still sore, um, but I so enjoyed my day home alone. And tomorrow um, my husband has it off. We will get the boy and we will get him packed up and ready. So he had been gone this entire week for when he went to see, um, you know, his girlfriend. So um, anyway, we'll pick him up and get him ready to go back to school, back to college. So, uh, crafted all day, filmed and watched outlaws, um, quirky show, but interesting. I came home. Oh, my husband came home after work, which wasn't the plan. He was supposed to have a short day and then go golfing. Um, but the boss called, um, was called to California. And so they had to, um, cancel. So I put bummer. I said, he so deserves a day, um, to go, you know, relax, but he came home and watched football. So yeah, that was kind of a bummer because like, you know, he was supposed to go in for just a little bit and then they were going to go golfing with the boss and everything and just kind of have a fun day. But anyway, all right, this is Saturday. Um, this giant thing is from Pam. I made it into like a pocket I made some tucks in here and, um, we ordered food for, um, um, uh, delivery for my son because, uh, he's flying out and then, um, like food will be delivered. So he'll have it. Cause he's been gone obviously all summer. So I put the boy flew home today, um, from Pullman. So from the Eastern Washington to where we are, um, had to say goodbye to his sweet girlfriend and then needed to decide on Thanksgiving plans. I'm glad he's home. Sad that it's only for one night. Grateful for the time that we have together. And then, um, I put the newspaper article article about Rue came out today. Wow. <laughs> I wish they would have included some other items, but it's crazy. Um, overall, it's an awesome read. So yeah, I mean, overall, I was pretty happy with what, what they wrote, but so, um, it was a very long article. It was crazy. But anyway, uh, we took the sun out the sun. We took the boy out, um, for a cool breakfast and cocktail at, um, the pub and we had a great dinner at tides and, um, <laughs> See, this is why we journal. Okay, so he told us this crazy dream he had about a bee. And we were laughing so hard and remembering because when he was a little boy, um, he had an imaginary friend. But it was not like, you know, Joe or whatever. Um, his imaginary friend was a bee for a very long time. And um, yeah, B was with us for a very long time and it was very interesting. And we were just giggling because he has very little memory of that, of course. So I found this printable. Oh my God, I'm dying. Yeah. So that is just a great memory. I'm so excited that I wrote it down here because, um, yeah. Oh gosh, we were just laughing anyway. So here I put a little thing, um, Okay. So I'm like, I don't understand why I'm writing this. Okay. I wrote this whole thing. I put, I'm pretty emotional today. I did a lot of process journaling and trying not to be reactive. I'm also trying not to be angry at myself regarding food choices. Um, just allowing myself to feel whatever I feel. Yes. I could have walked down to the beach and brought a smoothie. <laughs> I put hashtag choices. And then in red, I put PS, all of this journaling is about tomorrow. <laughs> so I wrote it on the wrong day. Okay. So all of that goes over here. Here's my food choices. All of that journaling probably should have gone over here. Um, this is me saying goodbye to my boy. Oh, it's just so sad. Okay. Um, the boy left at O Dark 30. My husband took him to the airport to say goodbye. And yes, we always know. Um, oh, mm. yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay. Um, he had to say goodbye to buddy. Um, and I put, yes, we always know it could be the last time. So, um, <laughs> I put crazy story getting on the plane. Of course, I kid you not. My son has the worst luck at the airport. He's missed more flights than I've ever missed. Cause I've missed zero. Um, he has crazy stories. You guys like thing, like random things happen and it, it was nuts. So anyway, um, 
somehow he was in the security line for an hour and a half or something. I mean, it was nuts. And so he was like going to miss his air flight. Like it was crazy. So then he had to go and pay for like the pre-board true pass thing. It was nuts. Um, anyway, um, I went to Goodwill, of course, came home with four books. I put three for work and, um, one personally for me. This is a picture. This is from Lynn. Um, oh, there's my boy and his dog. Okay. Um, I put today is the day. There's like that. And then, um, so I did go down to the beach. Let's see. Um, my husband worked on the bus all day. I read, I cleaned the fridge, I menu planned, and then I went shopping, got groceries. I came home. Um, my husband ate leftovers, so I only prepped dinner so I can cook it when I need. I checked my mood all day and journaled, and I went for a walk. I obviously still ate McDonald's at some point this day. So, um, yeah, just just an emotional day, and I need to be gentle with myself on those days and just allow myself to kind of do what I need to do, right? All right, the 22nd is... Um, Oh my gosh. I'm going to cry. Um, that's me and buddy. Yeah. And I put just you and me. So my husband went to work and, um, the house was quiet, right? And we're officially empty nesters on this day. (laughs) So here's two little birds that were empty nesters. This was, um, something I cut out. I made this page with you. I believe this is a cutout from, um, This, okay, this is something I ordered um, online and the sweet little note came with it and I loved it because she had taken a bigger note card, obviously, and just cut it in half and used half of it. And I just thought that's, I love that. Like I'm totally gonna, right? Um, I just put like, yeah, I'm feeling fine. Like I'm okay, um, relaxing and journaled, obviously. Um, This was the day, um... Yeah. So my daughter got her new roommate today. I still have to put a picture in here. I have gone over this 12 times, you guys, not even joking. Um, I'm going to stick a card in here. I even printed it out and then I don't know what happened. Okay. So, uh, got her new roommate today. Um, oh, and she dove on her shoulder for the first time. She's diving on pillows, but it's still a huge step. I'm so proud of her and the work she's doing in PT every day. Um, I went to my endo appointment, no change. And the boy went to the doctor also, and he was cleared finally. Thank goodness. Um, this has been a long ordeal over summer. Um, he, both my kids are college athletes and, uh, NCAA input a new regulation this year regarding, I don't even know what some tests they were supposed to have. I wrote it back earlier. Um, like that he would have had as an infant. And so I have spent, he's spent, we've spent a lot of time trying to find those records from when he was an infant. And I can tell you they don't exist. And so he had to have it retested, which is just so crazy because he's already competed for two. It doesn't matter anyway. So he went to the doctor today and got that and he was cleared. So thank goodness. Um, and then my husband worked all day. Um, and then I just put like, never give up, get it girl. And you don't, this is like, um, I don't know. It just says, uh, you're not required to change all at once. You are required to be brave enough to make small changes one day at a time. And that's one of my favorite quotes. I have it up in my office. So, um, yeah, good, good day. Okay. The next day is Tuesday. Um, I don't even know. Yeah. Started my day with new coffee. Um, long day at work. Coffee helps. (laughs) I put, um, we made pork, I made pork chops. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. We made pork chops with wine tonight. Um, and I was just laughing cause it was the Snoop Dogg wine. It's just a joke, but whatever. Um, this is the first day of school. It's the first day of school for my sweet boy. He's a junior and he sent me this dorky picture of him and his roommates. I was laughing. I'm just so grateful, um, that he sent me a picture and then, um, this was our sunset this evening. So like literally no journaling. That means my husband was at work. I was obviously at work, um, got a picture from the boy and our sunset and we had a great dinner, some pork chops and, um, yeah, anyway. So, I mean, basic, right? Okay. Um, this is Wednesday, super long. Um, I just put today was super long and crazy energy, solid work, but I'm exhausted and I can only pray I'm doing work that helps. 
um, quote, like you are stronger than, you know, I put this like from a magazine and <laughs> I had, I will tell you, I had nothing to journal this day. Like I had no, and, and we say that a lot, right? Yes. I could journal what I ate. Yes. I could journal music from the car. I could, I didn't go to the gym. I can tell you that. Um, but it's okay. You can also just put something else. And, um, so I went through my, um, photos and on my screenshots that day was this, and I was dying because this was completely appropriate for the day. And I printed it wrong. So I had to like, kind of do the writing, but oh my gosh, like the Scooby gang and all their words. And then me, <laughs> oh yeah, well, actually I did go to the gym, but there's no note about it. Like it's okay. It's okay. So that this represents that day. <laughs> all right. The 25th, again, not a lot going on. Um, today was a great day at work. I just put a um, great work day. Um, I do love seeing the progress. I stamped some of these new flower stamps that I had. I put new stamps from Goodwill from the last haul and a little work quote. Don't moan that you're broken. Be happy that you can break so that you can continuously remake yourself. Um, uh, Thursday night football, which is cool because we have prime and the boys were both excited. My husband and my son, um, even though they're in different States, they're both super excited. I got a little glue schmutz on my thing here. Um, super excited to watch the 49ers play and we can do it on, um, Amazon prime on Thursday nights. Cause they have the Thursday night football. So it's like, yay. Um, and sweet Cynthia sent me, um, some videos from Instagram on these little clusters and I just love them. Um, and so I popped one of those in there. So that was fun. The next day is the 26th. It was obviously cloudy this day, which is kind of cool because this was the paper anyway, but I added in these clouds here. And then, oh, this is a Friday. I, I know because I put this right here. Um, I um, went and ran errands. Let's see, had a relaxing day. I slept in and then I went to get, oh yeah, lashes done. Um, and then I went to the thrift stores. Um, I went to a new one to me. Um, great stuff and prices. I will donate there to help, um, with the high school. So, um, this is just literally like a piece of whatever. Okay. Any postcard from mail or whatever, um, you know, you can, you can use the other side of it for journaling. All right. And I did a stamp there and this was a little brochure I found on the way. I went and checked out the craft space that I went to and that, um, and that I was going to rent for the craft day. Oh my gosh, that was yesterday that we were going to have a craft day. Um, and I get no one can come, but that's, um, that's why I went up there. Um, and the thrift shops as well. So, um, I had a great day. I walked around, I walked down by the water. It was really cool. Um, and Dallas, Dallas won today. So, um, that's good. And, um, I obviously did some filming today. So again, really basic page, not a lot going on. Um, Saturday. Oh, my husband and I went to brunch. This was fun. Did I put it over here? Um, so we went to brunch. This was a card someone sent me in happy mail and it said brunch queen. And I thought that was just funny because I rarely do brunch, but there you go. Um, so my husband and I went to brunch and then after brunch, I took my car in for an oil change uh, with no appointment to the dealership because they always say you do not need an appointment. Excuse me. I always make one. And then they're like, you don't need one. Just come in. Um, but, but today, but today I needed one. <laughs> like I was so like frustrated. I was like, wait, what? Like, no, you literally tell me every time I come that I, I don't need one. And then, and now, I, oh my gosh. And it's like 45 minutes away from my house. So I was like, um, so they decided to get me in and, um, they're like, can you wait? Can you, whatever. And I was like, of course I can wait. I went for a walk. Um, there was a Goodwill at a shopping center, like down the road or whatever. And, um, and so I found these bins. Now, ironically, it shows two, it says one count for $5. Um, I don't know where they're from. I bought a stack of three and it was, I don't even know if it was $5. So I bought three of these baskets and those are my three haul baskets now. And so, um, I've now made three official hauls to make junk journals out of and journal number one is made and that, um, is already posted and, or the process of it. It's I think in four or five sections 
And so now I can empty out that bucket and hall number four goes into that bucket, right? Because I only have the three buckets and my container system tells me I can only use those buckets for those halls. And I'm actually done hauling, I think, for the year. I have so much stuff. So we'll be making stuff out of all of it now. But anyway, that's where I got those buckets. And they work great and they stack and they're super cool and they're big. So I love it. All right. So I did put the brunch thing in here. My husband and I went to brunch with um, a couple friend of ours. And uh, we hadn't been to this place before. And so they're like, oh, you know, we'll go and whatever. And so, oh my God, when we got back, Buddy had pooped all over the car. Oh my gosh. It was so horrible. <laughs> he was so mad. We had put him out, obviously, before we went in and he had done what he needed to do. And then we went into brunch. And then when we came out, he obviously had had more to do. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. So, um, yeah, we we being my husband, mostly because I thought I was going to barf um, through like <laughs> throughout whatever we could and like cleaned up the front seat and whatever and then laid stuff down put buddy on it and then I sat in the back seat because I was like I'm not sitting in the front seat until we have the car detailed like I'm not that's disgusting so oh my god buddy boy all right um it was my sister's birthday I texted but they were gone um I can't wait for the day when we can celebrate together again all right all right the next day is Sunday we drove down to Oregon for um uh, a soccer game the my daughter's team played in Oregon, and even though she doesn't travel, um, we went down to support the team and had a really great time. We went to Powell's Books. I'd never been there, and I got a Daphne's Diary there. Um, and this is us. I made this page with you guys. Here's the little birds. Um, I was hoping that one would face this way and whatever, but anyway, this is like we're official empty nesters, and so we can pick up and go down, you know, down to Oregon for the day if we want. And so um, anyway, here's a bookmark from it. And then here's like, yeah, we went down to Oregon to watch the game. That was it. It was the whole day. It's three hours down there. It's like a three hour game and it's three hours back. We did stop for dinner on the way back at a little bar um, and watch some football, but it, that's a full day. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. The next day, um, I did so much laundry today. We were behind and so today it was all, it almost all got done. And this is our laundry detergent that I use. It's like plastic free. It doesn't come in a container. It's sheets. And so I like, I obviously, um, used up one of the packets, you know, so I put that in for today. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Here's a picture that was on Instagram or maybe our son sent it. I don't think whatever. Um, I put what a difference two years makes. Cause he's the team captain this year. I said every year they post this video. Oh, okay. It was a video. The boy has moved from the outside to being team captain and leading the chant for the first day of tryouts. So cool. So <laughs> obviously, you know, like, yay, go team, whatever. The first year my son did this again, it was his tryout. He was like way, I don't even know out here. Right. He, he was like, didn't even have it. And my son, my husband was like, get in there. Like, you know, whatever. And so this year, the video, that's my son right there and his hand, you know what I mean? And he led the cheer and it was, or chant or whatever it is. I don't even know. It's stupid. It's like one, two, three, go team. It's not that big of a deal. It is a big deal because, um, it's a big deal for him. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. So there's my Rue. There's my Rue. She sent me a picture of the first day of school. Oh my gosh. I love my children. Okay. Um, so this was the first day of school for her. And then she sent me these texts throughout the day. And so <laughs> her first class was K through eight music. Whew, excuse me. She says, it was great. We did a folk dance and I need a ukulele. <laughs> She says, it's all girls and one old man. I'm like, what? And then the second class, she says, I only have one guy in my math class. He's a rugby player from Australia. Um, and then the next class, she says, I'm dropping American history. We already have homework. <laughs> oh, my God. I love her so much. So um, we knew she had to drop classes anyway. She was overpacked, but they had to figure out... Um, practice schedule and all that kind of stuff. And so, um, anyway, but just the way the text comes through, I'm dying. Right. Um, and then there was more about the rugby player because we were just laughing because, um, 
I guess he's like kind of banged up or whatever. And they were talking about injuries or whatever. And she's had this, she's had multiple surgeries, but she's had this major, major shoulder reconstruction thing that she's been dealing with. And so, um, oh my God, I was dying. I was like, well, you guys have a lot in common. (laughs) Anyway. And then I'm dropping us history because we already have homework. Oh God. Yeah. She makes me giggle. Okay. Um, and then August 30th, I put uh, fitness goals here and, um, woke up early. Um, what day is it? Oh, it's a Tuesday. Uh, let's see. So I just, I put, I woke up early with, with my husband, you know, he gets up early and leaves normally by five and normally he just, um, whatever showers, gets stressed, kisses me, love you. Bye. Mwah. Now, normally if I'm working out, I get up also and go right. But I haven't been working out most of summer because, um, my kids have been home and I've wanted to visit with them in the morning and blah, 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 blah. Okay. So anyway, I'm not back on morning routine yet. Um, but anyway, this morning, for whatever reason, I could not go back to sleep. And so I got up, um, probably did some journaling. Um, I bought more mud online and then, yeah, so I just put hard day at work and embrace your feelings. So this was Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, super long days at work. Um, but it's okay. Um, I had a great morning. Oh, did morning routine, um, work, but no gym. Oh, I put, it's so hot. Um, I did buy more mud and we'll try to drink less coffee. Yeah. Super hot. Super hot. All right. The 31st is the last day of the month. Um, very, very basic page. Not a lot really going on a lot of decoration, right? So, and these are random things off my desk. You guys, these are just like, look at tidbits and snippets and whatever. Um, I put, Oh, these long days take up everything I have. Yeah. And, um, yeah again, long day at work. So, um, I went to the free library and I found some books today and I treated myself to coffee. I was going to say, is this a Wednesday? Well, so normally it's a Thursday, but anyway, I must've gotten coffee, um, today. And then when I go to the little coffee stand, there is a free library like right up the road. And so I usually stop there. And then this was a mantra. I don't know. My printer put a lovely green stripe down this and another photo. I'm kind of bummed, but it, it's fine. But, um, this was my affirmation and mantra for the day that printed out that day that, um, that popped up and I saved that day. And so I printed it out and it says, um, for the good of all and to the harm of none, everything I desire is already on its way. I deserve the life that I am manifesting and I embrace the beautiful life that is now unfolding before my eyes. And I thought that was just beautiful. So I had a little cutout of another August and then these are words from Lynn. They look, they come in sheets like this, like some are, you know, um, and so I just put like, I cut them out and pieced them together and put tomorrow is September. Crazy. Let's see. There's a question mark. Maybe there's an exclamation mark. I'm not too sure. Anyway. Yeah. Tomorrow is September and that is August. That's the end of the month. Um, I have not done like a closing page in a very long time. So I obviously didn't do one for August, even though this paper is fabulous and I chose it for that. Like, so I'd have a good ending because that's the color of the month, if you will, but not going to happen. So, (coughs) excuse me. Um, that is August. That is the second half of August. Anyway. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for all your feedback, your encouragement, Um, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. I appreciate you being here and I love this community so much. Um, I hope you're having a great day and documenting your memories and I hope you find something today that inspires you. Take care. Bye.